Hi guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to create this cool vintage effect inside of Lightroom. Now I'm using Lightroom 4, but all of these options are available in earlier versions of Lightroom. So let's get started with creating this effect. So this was the original image, as you can see, and this was the image with the vintage effect added on. So what you want to do first is you want to bring the highlights right down here, and highlights can be found under Tone Curve. Yeah, so you want to bring down the highlights. Then you want to bring up the shadows. So it creates this kind of like flat image, and obviously that's the kind of image you're going to get with a vintage effect image. And you also want to bring down the lights and bring up the darks. So there you go, you get that nice kind of flat image, which looks really nice, even just like that, actually. Now, this is where the kind of split toning comes in. So this is where you get that kind of different color look on the image. So what you want to do is on the top hue and saturation you want to put it on like a green on the hue and for the bottom for the shadows you want to put it on like a pink then bring up the saturation for both and that's where you've got that kind of vintage colour which looks really great and this effects really quick and easy as well so you can apply this to like any kind of photography work portrait, landscape, whatever you want to do looks great with like city work mainly but um, it's up to you how you use it what you want to do next is you can add some sharpening if you want which looks great too, which can add a little bit more detail to the image because obviously we've lost a bit of detail by reducing some of the shadows and the highlights so adding that sharpening can look good. You also want to add some grain and grain can be found under the effects. You don't want to add too much but you want to add enough to give it a bit of noise just to give it that more vintage look. Now on post crop vignetting you want to turn down the amount because if you turn it up it goes white, like that nasty white colour and down it goes dark. So you want to add like a black vignette and that's actually pretty much it for the vintage effect. Um, I hope this tutorial was useful for creating this effect. Remember to subscribe, like, comment, favourite, etc. I'll be producing more videos, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in another video.